ahead on Daytime Buffalo, Chef Emily and I give you a decadent dessert for two or just for you. And I talk to a local author about how you can manage your work stress and cope with anxiety. It's all coming up right now on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. Kicking off the show are the creative minds behind the upcoming holiday movie about Dinkus Day. Welcome, Michael Bettino and Golden Groves. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All righty, tell us all about the movie. Um, I like to describe it as a folk horror comedy slasher Hallmark holiday <laughs> special. So wow. Kind of, uh, <laughs> That's a lot. Because we, we looked at it, every holiday has a horror movie, like, Christmas, even Thanksgiving now, but yeah. now we said, why not Dingus Day? So then that's kind of where it began, I would say. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about the inspiration, where it came from, and what made you want to make a movie like this. Um, I'd say about seven years ago when we finished our first movie, we started talking about ideas for things that we wanted to do in the future. And again, it came up every holiday as a horror movie, but how can we make something that's different? And then we thought about the local area and how Dingus Day is something that Nobody else is going to make other than someone around here because no one else knows about it. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to make something that would kind of bring that so we'd have a lot of local flair, mm -hmm. but a lot in it that would be for people that aren't from around here. So it's not like all in jokes. It's things that uh, our writer, Paul McGinnis, is killing it with making sure that it's something that would be all encompassing. And you don't have to be from Buffalo to love it, but you will love it if you are from Buffalo. If you are from Western mm -hmm. New York, you're going to know Absolutely. it, you're going to love it. And kind of show it off to the rest of the country what the Dingus Day even is, which most people don't know. <laughs> what was the production like? Um, we haven't started it yet. We're uh, currently doing an Indiegogo campaign, getting funds for the full production. We did do a short in our last movie, Skeleton Xylophone. That's what we're looking <laughs> uh, at. In our, la our last movie, Skeleton Xylophone, we did like a short about it that kind of, kind of gets the idea across like what the what the comedy is going to be like, what the, all the insanity. It's going, to be, it's going to be quite something. And let's talk about that Indiegogo campaign. What are you doing for it? What is, what is the idea behind it? Uh, well, we actually have a lot of fun perks for it. We set a goal for 5000 uh, which is, while it's a very modest budget for a movie, it's actually a lot larger than we've had so far, so we get a chance to really uh, make this as good as possible. Uh, a lot of the perks include... Uh, cameos into the movie, small extra roles, uh, featured kill. I think <laughs> the one of the perks that's it's our big perk and it's the most like unusual or different is uh, you will get a cameo role in the movie and actually that cameo character will be in because I've been decided to do a back piece for my tattoos and it's all uh, characters from my movies. So by doing this perk, you actually will be immortalized on my back piece tattoo. Oh, so, wow. so not only do you get to be in the movie, you get to be on his body. Yeah, forever. 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 Uh, and surprisingly, we actually, one person already bought that perk, and it, we have it open for two people, so there's still one available. And I, I mean, <laughs> it's a great thing, I think. Uh, I didn't think anybody would actually do it, but I'm very happy that someone did. Um, it's gotten us to 77% funded oh, wow. for the goal. Uh, we still have like 25 days left, I believe. And we're really close to doing it. And if we can get over it, then it'll stay up on Indiegogo past the campaign date and keep getting us more money, which will be great to really just showcase this. And the amount of local talent that we have involved in this is, is amazing to us, the people that have come to us and been part of it, so. We're describing it as the Buffalo Film Avengers. Yes. Pretty much all the, <laughs> all the best talent is gonna be in the movie. I like it. Now, when are you hoping to be able to shoot this? Um, we're hoping to start, the Indiegogo ends um, at the end of February here. We're hoping to start shooting in March or so. Pretty, pretty close to Dingus Day, actually, is when we wanna fully get moving on it. Would and you the, use any like real shots from Dingus Day parades and everything? Pro, it's going to be mostly filmed uh, <laughs> down where we live in Springville. Okay. Um, just because maybe getting permits and stuff might be more difficult, but in yeah. Springville, not as much, not as difficult. <laughs> Plus, we really leaned into with the script because we decided, it, with it being a horror comedy, we wanted to do almost like a Hallmark film two feel to it. So it's the guy coming back into the small town. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yep. It does make it easier for permits and everything, being that it's a smaller town and we know all the businesses and everything. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's a lot of that. And then we're really going to lean into to the, the this being a small town that gets completely taken over for Dingus Day. Like that's their entire town's celebration. Almost kind of like how Puxatawney mm -hmm. has for Groundhog Day. That's what this is going to be uh, for Dingus Day though. Very nice, very cool. Thank you both for coming in and Thank sharing you. more about this. To contribute to their campaign, you can just search Dingus Day on Indiegogo and be sure to find them on social media to keep up with production and see behind the scenes content. Thank you both again for coming. Yes, in. Thank, Thank you so much for having us.